and then it's, it's Yenta, the matchmaker. Mm. Your fathers have had hired me ever since you were a little girl to find the most perfect match. Aye. So I prayed many blessings over you. Blessings that you will ripen like a rutabaga. That uh, your head won't fall off like an onion and into the dirt and grow. But, sadly, Yenta, Yenta, is here to tell you. The matches were made when you were younger. They all forgot about you. And it was a bad deal. Shit luck. Shit luck. All the matches, I went to the rabbi this week and I said, what are we going to do about Dana Dillon? The Spielberg thing, I don't know. I don't know. It's, we, every man I had matched with you, Dana has moved on. They've moved on. You know, and I thought there was enough, you know, to keep them going, but they, you know, they've all moved on. You've seen them. Uh, with, with other women, now you see them all publicly with other women. You see them, you know, so that there's no one left. You, you, now, you, your fathers did a lot of work trying to do acting like they pretend to like you. They didn't like you. It was all acting. So, Yenta, I've been looking at your statistics, what you like in a man, and the only man I could find was maybe 102, 120. You know, you say you want a gentleman, this loyal kind. And you told me you wouldn't mind if he has hair or doesn't have hair. Because apparently you might not have hair for a while because you have to have your, your cabbage cracked open or something like that. But don't be afraid, don't.